collector's spot. We are uh, safe in the store. I've played enough Grand Theft Auto to know uh, <laughs> when a car like starts lining up. Uh, yeah, you gotta be uh, careful out there in those parking lots. Cards. We got cards. We got cards. Mystery people, Shang-Chi cards, or mystery people and things. Look at those little turtle people, huh? Got some Demon Slayer going on. Anime going on. Figure arts. Some Goku. And, um, quite a few different characters, models, got some dragons, mega spawn, he's a big guy, uh, let's look at this guy, what can we do, yeah, he could be, uh, little mythic legions, he's a big boy, still got our Arkham figures, little Batman, little Raj, little penguin, Yu-Gi-Oh! Characters. Looks like they had uh, maybe a couple cases of uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't tell. Oh man, now I gotta pull them down. So that's series one. Okay. I just, I thought I saw somebody different. But maybe I'm just making it up. Nope, they're all the same. So, one, two, three. One, two. Okay, so there's just like one that wasn't there. Ted Lasso. Little Demon Slayer. Spawn. Check out, so these are little spawn. Page punchers. That's kind of cool. Couple figures, comic book. Not a bad little way to do it. Donatello, Mikey, Raph, little street turtles. Picard. Godzilla. We got Joker and Scarecrow down there. We've seen them before. There's another Son Goku. Star Wars, little Five Nights at Freddy's, Dungeons and Dragons, big old She-Hulk, Parks and Rec, look at this guy here, Rocky Maivia, that's funny, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, so we got a few WWE, Rhea Ripley there, no title belt yet. Gotta get her with, uh, with the title belt. Riddle, Jerry the King Lar. Got Hogan, some covers. All kinds of aliens. Check this out. So this is new. Goliath. And uh, this is inspired by uh, the video game. Yeah, so you got this NECA, almost like the Sega logo. Yeah, I like how they did that Goliath. So that is a pretty cool box. You can see it's kind of shaded like it's a video game and bits. Check this guy out. I haven't seen this thing in forever. That's pretty cool. No bugs. Hey, Paul. Dracula, Wolfman. Look at this. We got... Uh, New Gremlins. I don't think we've seen this two pack before. So there's a little WB logo. Got the jacket, the hat. So yeah, those Gremlins are definitely getting into uh, some trouble. Predator there. Frankenstein. Little Ash. Little Mummy. Got all the Predators up top. Except for this guy, Ultimate Boar Predator. pretty cool so yeah some new uh, and here's the Casey Jones 
So yes, yeah, new NECA on the shelf. Casey Jones as the Phantom with the skull there. Yeah, these are good. Nice little target run, huh? Okay, so you can put the skull on. Got the kind of broke away mask. Got the full mask. Love that he still has like the hockey sticks and stuff. That's hilarious. American Werewolf there. So yeah, NECA got some stuff today. Got some stuff. Otuni Terrors. Check out that one. That's cool. NECA headstands. I had somebody ask me recently, uh, these are the stands that I put uh, the different head sculpts on, like when I'm painting and stuff, so they work really well. If you can find them in your collector's area. Little plushies. Got some models. Little Wicket. Goku. Little Gundams. Look at that. Uh, Midoriya. That's kind of cool. I feel like maybe this is an older one. It's kind of cool. He's like Surgeon with like the power. Yeah. Must have just like found him somewhere. I feel like that's an older release. Uh, nothing in the case, right? Yeah, just some Pokemon cards over there. They used to have like a bunch of uh, Funkos in the case over there. Let's uh, go ahead to the main toy aisle and see what we can find today. Wheels, we got some single releases looking, you know, not too bad. Not a ton, but definitely not zero. So I guess that is uh, good for you Hot Wheel collectors. Mario's hanging out in Hot Wheel Owl. Must be checking out all those Mario carts. Got some five packs. Got some Jurassic World, little Batman. Look at this rod. Two pack there, some more Batman. A little bit of Star Wars. Ultra hot going on. Some color shifters. Wily Coyote. Monster jams. Monster trucks. Those super rigs. Got some moving parts. That's pretty cool. Five packs. Of cars got a dyno running with the cars. <laughs> Look at this guy! Oh man, that's crazy. Squirtle hanging out with the cars. All right, we got sodas the little like soda machine, Groot, Drax, Nebula, Mantis. Yeah, it's like very similar to the last Target store. A lot of the uh, sodas going on these are just games maybe puzzles uh, just random stuff little Pokemon some more cards yeah it's definitely uh, <laughs> looking like random day poppy playtime in the toy aisle Got like this shark thing, like I don't know what's going on right now. Sonic up there, some video game stuff, little Mario levels, a little bit of Roblox, more Poppy Playtime, just stuff all over the place. Fortnite, Halo, a little bit of Legos, a little Spider Man. I think this is all basic stuff, but then look at this. We got like a pink ranger in there. A lot of basic Marvel. Got our nice Spider Verse up there. Yeah, we've been seeing the Pokemon and like Mega Blocks little display. Yoshi and Luigi just randomly over here. There's Jazz, Iron Hide, three pack going on RC a few different cars up there 
Jay Garrick, Batman, Project Superman, a little bit of Flash going on, Joker, still got the build a horse, a few Flash movies, a little uh, Power Rangers Zords, Got some Super 7, on the Jones, a little Impulse, all those Ninja Rangers, Spider-Man 2099, I got way too excited on that guy, I'm seeing him like everywhere now, too excited they got me on the FOMO, right? <laughs> Iron Man, still got some What If, Raphael, it's not much there with Marvel Legends. Let's go check in on a little bit of wrestling. What we got for wrestling? Hogan, 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 a lot of Hogan. Got the rock up there. Build a mean gene. Bret Hart, that's cool. Yeah, a lot of Hogan's. Some AEW mixed in. King Kofi, Series 97, well, AJ Styles being phenomenal, and AEW just kind of sprinkled in, got a dragon, got a Grogu, Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, bit of Indiana Jones, got the whip, got the pig man, more pig man, pig head, pig head, excuse me, pig head, stink of war, I haven't seen this He-Man in a while, Tila, uh, squadrons, got the snow speeder, got the tank, tie fighter, Donatello, Raiders, that's cool though. Dino, Clamp Champ, Shredder. Got, uh, ooh, there we go. I'm gonna have to take a picture of this. I know uh, my guy, Man Cave. Was uh, I feel like he was not scooping this guy up because there were the stickers at Walmart. So I'm gonna send him a picture. I don't know if this card is like perfect, but uh, I just want to give him a heads up. Maybe he can find this at Target, or uh, maybe I'll come back and scoop it up for him. We'll have to see what he thinks. So I'll do that in just a minute. We can finish up this aisle. Leo, Donnie, Donnie, Mike. A little light year going on. Dinos. Dinosaurs. Everybody do the dinosaur. There's that 93 Rex. All right, I'm going to take that picture real quick and then we'll see what else we can find. So we got a little bit of NECA down here and check it out. Uh, somebody busted out Falco. So I'm a little scared of this aisle now. A little Power Ranger Super 7. We got all kinds of uh, Stranger Things and yeah, Stranger Things and the uh, Ninja Turtles going on. Got a bunch of our pizza monsters, Muckman, little Mondo Gecko, some of our two packs going on there. Schwarzenegger, the Terminator. Got some Demonas back here, some Gremlins lined up. Let's see, two packs, three packs, yeah, frogs. Quite a few different characters. Got our American Werewolf in London, little Gremlins two pack, uh, Baron. So apparently, yeah, crazy. Got a little Sonic there, and let's see. I think they had. I thought they had 
at a display of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And it might be, yeah, I see it. Little Guardians of the Galaxy. Got some Funko Pops, 10 inch. Got some Lego masks, some Lego ships. Got Groot there. There's that exclusive Yondu. Adam Warlock. Looks like we got most of the crew there. Got a few more Funkos, some cups. I think that might do it for this Target run. Not a bad Target run. Uh, collector spot looked pretty good today with those new NECA releases. If you're looking for a little Gremlins 2-pack, that uh, Casey Jones Universal Monsters, and uh, Gargoyles, Goliath. Uh, you know, reused parts, you're gonna see throughout toy lines, uh, different paints and everything. It's just, it's part of the game. So I don't know, do you necessarily need the game Goliath? Probably not, but if you want to scoop it up and build onto your collection or your uh, completionist and you just gotta add that figure, uh, you know, I've seen <laughs> worse concepts. Uh, I thought at first when I saw like images of it, like maybe it was him as stone and uh, kind of breaking out, which I, I feel like we had the old, was it Toy Biz that did the old gargoyles? I feel like there were some <laughs> crazy concepts like that back in the day where uh, they definitely made a little bit of everything and you know again reuse is gonna happen no matter what the toy line is you're gonna see a lot of similar stuff I know people are excited to get like the rest of uh, the gargoyles definitely some of those are starting to hit in different areas so let me know in the comments, are you getting yourself some gargoyles? Is that uh, Goliath on your list? Kind of complete, get them on the shelf, all that fun stuff. Definitely uh, let me know in the comments. Gremlins, I have no idea. Do uh, any of you collect gremlins? They are definitely interesting. I would say first movie I was probably terrified of uh, the gremlins second movie definitely a lot uh, funnier even though I was just like man these things are so weird looking but uh, definitely a lot funnier not as not as terrifying but then again they did some uh, weird stuff in the mall so you gotta you gotta be on the lookout for those gremlins. Gizmo is cool. I'd uh, I'd party with Gizmo, but don't get him wet. Don't uh, don't feed him after midnight. People playing with clocks, not not good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know. Are y'all collecting any of those gremlins? Getting out there, scooping those up from NECA. And then uh, Universal Monsters. Are we going to see more after Casey Jones? We've had Splinter. We've had the Brothers. We've had April. Are we going to get uh, mashups with our villains? They're already kind of monstrous. So where do you go with, uh, with that? I guess uh, Shredder. But after Shredder, I don't know would be interesting if y'all know of more monster mashups or there's monster mashups you'd like to see with uh, the turtles and the universal monsters definitely let me know in the comments uh they could go back like i know they did what leo with uh 
with the creature from uh, the Black Lagoon. Like, do you go back and capture some of those classic looks that they did back in the day with uh, your same brothers or y'all pretty happy with how these uh, turtles and universal mashups have come together this time around. Definitely interesting, but nothing that I'm scooping up right now and no pickups. I was a little sad. Somebody stole the Baron. Somebody took Baron Zemo. That's bad. You, uh, you're you going to have some bad karma when you steal Hydra figures. <laughs> or any figures for that, for that thought process. Stealing those figures. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey. Just uh, finding those ripped up. I mean... I guess Baron Strucker might have got out. Maybe he was tired of being in that Hasbro box. But <laughs> a couple open boxes. Albemarle Road, I guess it's not expected. So unfortunately, I am talking a lot. Uh, I'm kind of in between things right now. So didn't have enough time to run over to Walmart. So no Target versus Walmart. That's our typical Albemarle Road. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed checking out Target. A little Target run. A little shorter video than we've been doing recently. But, you know, I thought there might be some cool stuff at the Target store. Uh, hard telling with that Walmart. Every once in a while they will uh, surprise me. So, of course, we didn't go, so I'll probably get, like, a text or somebody will DM me and be like, oh, man, you won't believe what I found at the Albemarle Road Walmart. But that's, that's toy timing for you. Sometimes we roll in and we see everything. Sometimes we roll in and there is nothing on the shelves. So, that's, uh, that's why I keep going out and doing it. I could just go back and watch all these videos and be like, oh yeah, I remember finding that there. I remember finding that there, but I gotta get out there and see what's in the stores now. Now! <laughs> well, not right now because I got somewhere to be. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, comment, and share. If you haven't already, jump into Kent Pool Collects. We're having a lot of fun here on the YouTube, also over on Instagram, Kent Pool Collects. Definitely uh, check out the Instagram. Sometimes I throw up pictures and videos before the YouTube. So if you wanna see what's new in the Carolinas, what's on those shelves, definitely give me a follow over on Instagram. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to our channel members. Y'all are too sweet two kinds for being channel members really appreciate it it uh, definitely means a lot to me seeing the channel members and y'all being kind enough to uh, support the channel in that fashion so thank you so much until next time always be hunting have fun collecting